Hi ladies, Manisha here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing some pink tropical nails. This gorgeous Moe London plate is the one I'm going to be using. It's called Summer Loving Collection. I have done another tropical um, design from this. I'll link that video for you. But I thought this time I would do a pink tropical one. So I've got a 10% off discount code for those two CADS polishes. Um, there's also a Born Pretty store 20% um, off discount code too, which I'll have all the discount codes listed for you down below. I'm going to use that beautiful um, polish from Moe London. That's a stamping polish as well. And I'm going to be doing some reverse stamping today. So I'll use that dark sort of purple, grapey sort of purple colour first. So I'm going to use that to pick up this beautiful floral image here. So it's a really nice pick up there. I'm just using my Moira Clear Stamper. And I'm going to be decanting a few of these um, polishes onto the, um, the little palette I've got there. So you can actually colour these in just using them, you know, the, the brushes straight from the bottles. But because I've got a bit of fine detail work to do, I thought it'd be easier just to pop a little bit onto the palette and then pick it up with a fine detail brush. You could also use a dotting tool if you want to. And if you feel, feel like you're heavy handed um, when you sort of do colour in, you can always pop on a coat of um, top coat, not a fast drying one, just a sort of clear coat. Let that fully dry and then colour in your design because what this will do is just kind of protect the delicate stamping underneath. Um, I usually do things like that, but I haven't been doing it lately. I feel like I've sort of got a bit more of a lighter touch and I don't seem to drag my um, tools as much as I used to when I um, first used to do reverse stamping. Um, but you can definitely do that if you want to and it just kind of um, makes it a little bit more foolproof when it comes to colouring in. So if you do run out of paint, just um, pop on a little bit more polish onto your um, palette. Now you could probably use acrylic paints as well. Um, just bear in mind that sometimes they can get a bit dry and crack. So um, I tend to just kind of stick to polishes um, or stamping polishes for doing this. Um, stamping polishes I prefer more because they are really opaque and they do tend to dry a lot quicker too. So I sort of got to this stage and then I decided that I kind of needed probably a fourth colour. So I'm going to introduce a, another colour for you in a second and I will show you that. So I didn't show it in the start because I thought I could have just got away with the three colours for reverse stamping. But this is the fourth one I'm going to introduce. It's called Aubergine. It's from Designer Brands. It's available in New Zealand and Australia as far as I'm aware. I'm not sure if you can get it anywhere else. But um, yeah, I just thought that colour would complement the other colours that I'm using. So I've kind of used a couple of cream polishes and then also thrown in a sort of more metallic-y shimmery one. It's always nice to sort of have that kind of combination when it comes to these sorts of patterns um, because it just kind of plays with the light showing on. So what I'm showing you here is what it looks like from the reverse side. If you've got any patches at this stage do um, carry on colouring them in but anyway I was happy with where I got to with that. So next up I'm going to be doing a smushy. So a smushy is when you basically put blobs of polish on a palette or you could do it on your stamper and then basically just use a stamper to pick up the um, the polish and just dab it onto your hand so you're kind of just smushing it all in and what I'm doing is using all four of those colors that I used for the reversed um, stamping the bits that I use for coloring in and I'm going to do that on my pinky and my pointer finger because on the other three fingers I'm going to be doing um, those, you know, the decals that I just showed you, that reversed um, stamped image. I'm actually doing another couple of them off camera. And um, yeah, I thought I just wouldn't bore you with all the, um, the, the, you know, showing you every single stage that I'm doing, but you kind of get the gist of it. And anyway, I felt like that one needed a little bit more purple, so I just threw in a little bit more purple on it. So I'm going to give those nails a few minutes to dry, and then once they're sort of at the touch dry stage, um, I'm just going to be popping on this leaf image over each of them. So this is another way you can use um, this kind of negative type um, of image. So you can either do reverse stamping, or do a smushy, or even you could use holographic polish and then stamp this over the top and it's just another way to use these sorts of images um, if you're ever stuck um, even a gradient a gradient will look amazing underneath this and um, yeah I just love these sorts of images and these kind of tropical plates I think there's just so many ways you can use them 
So now that I've um, finished the other nails, I'm going to do the cleanup off camera and I'm going to proceed with applying the decals. But first up, I need to get some polish on my nails. Now this kind of has two um, purposes. One um, adds a little bit of a sort of tacky surface there. It's got to the touch dry stage. So what will happen is your decal will actually transfer onto your nail effortlessly. And also the, the uh, second idea is that if there are any gaps in your um, colouring in and your reverse colouring in, it will actually kind of help cover those up. So you can choose any of the colours that you've used in your reverse stamping. Um, I've just sort of grabbed the first one that was on hand and um, just applied that onto the nails. Now you don't need to do two coats or anything like that because basically your um, image will end up covering your whole nail so you won't get any gaps but it's really just to kind of add a sticky surface there for the decal to stick to. Now the cleaning doesn't actually take long, I'm just using a cuticle pusher there with a pointy end and that's just basically um, something I can kind of get into the corners and break off the parts that aren't sticking to the nail and that shouldn't really stick to your skin at this stage because the decal should be fully dry. So I'm going to continue with my middle finger and my um, ring finger, I'll do those ones off camera. You kind of get the idea. Do any final clean up with a polish um, remover and a brush. And then once you've got to that stage, it's time to pop on your top coat. So I'm going to pop on a coat of Sesh Feet first and allow that to fully dry before adding a coat of matte top coat. So the Sesh Feet adds a really nice glossy finish and you can totally leave it at this glossy stage if you want to but you know me i always have to add a matte top coat if i've got a bit of metallic polish on my nails i don't know what that's about but i just seem to always be drawn to a matte finish so this is my moira matte top coat so i'm just going to basically apply that to all the nails and then i'm pretty much done so i've got some pictures coming up for you and a little video just showing you what it looks like mainly just to show you what the metallic um polish looks like um, at different angles. I just really like how it plays with the light and it just adds a little bit more interest to an already cute design. You can kind of see it there. Now you could totally swap this out for a holographic polish and it would look amazing and I'm sure you wouldn't be disappointed with it. But anyway, if you've got any comments or questions, just leave them for me down below. And if you haven't done so already, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is free to do so and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.